I'm going to attempt to solve number 10 using factoring by grouping method. So, of the first two terms, I'm able to factor out an x squared, and I'm left with 1 half x plus 1. Now, I'm going to determine what value times 1 half equals negative 2. So, half of what because it's negative 2? Negative 4. Half of negative 4 is negative 2, and there's an x, and negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Both groups contain the quantity 1 half x plus 1 in front of the first group, in front of the second group. And now these two factors I'm going to set equal to 0 to help find and identify the x-intercepts. 1 half x plus 1 equals 0, and x squared minus 4 equals 0. Subtract 1 to the opposite side, multiply by the reciprocal, and I end up with x equals negative 2. 1, 2. Okay, now this one we are going to... Um, first add 4 to the opposite side. I'm going to move this over so you guys can see this. So I'm adding 4 to the opposite side to get 4. Take the square root. I'm going to have two answers, both positive 2 and negative 2. But notice I have a double. I have a double solution at negative 2. That means it's going to bounce off. Okay, so here's x equals 2, and I have a double at negative 2. Now this function is odd degree with a leading coefficient that's positive. That means it's going to be up on the right and down on the left. So what would that look like? So it needs to bounce off this and go down on the right, up on the left. And then we can also see that in order to identify the y-intercept, I would plug in 0 for the x's. So this 0, 0, 0, minus 4. So it comes down and comes back up. 